In this video I'm going to demonstrate uh, the, or I guess review, this goat head psycho chenille. Um, it's really good chenille, I really, really like it, I can't say enough about it. Um, but this is going to kind of go along with my blog post. Uh, so, let's start by showing you a little bit of the fibers here. This is what, they, what it looks like, this is what kind of fibers it's got on it. Um, if you can see it, they look like they're about an inch long, and they've got some, uh, it's like flashy boo, and it's, this is green, and it comes with uh, about six different colors. Um, I like the green, the blue, and the red myself, but uh, it does come in uh, combos of golden white, golden, or golden tan, silver and white, and golden black, and uh, so I really like it. Um, I'm going to compare it to some Palmer chenille that I've got here. And this is medium fluorescent. But uh, you can see that there's a difference between the uh, fibers here. I say there's a little more hair in this Palmer chenille and there's just pretty much tinsel and some thick thread almost in this other stuff in the uh, psycho chenille. Um, it's got a cord that's a little bit heavier duty on the psycho chenille than on the Palmer chenille. This is uh, Wapsie's uh, Palmer chenille. And so you can see the comparison there. I just, I like the look. I think it, the uh, psycho chenille gives a little more um, zing in the way it looks. So I'm going to show you how it looks uh, wrapped around a hook. What I've got here is a, a four out mustad hook. And uh, we'll. Go ahead and I'm going to bring the thread all the way back to the bend of the hook. Right there. And then we'll uh, tie this in. You can see it. I'll bring the thread back to the front here. And the best way I found to wrap this is to use a uh, bobbin cradle so we'll use the bobbin cradle and then we're just gonna start wrapping it around just so you can see how this looks on the hook it's all been hooked see just how well that looks and how good that looks on the hook and I've tied tied a couple of uh, flies with it just testing it out and uh, one of them is the uh, Provo hooker and it uses Palmer chenille on the original recipe but I really like the way that that looks on, on the hook you see how the fibers just flare out and you don't have any didn't take much to keep them flared out. They weren't didn't get wrapped around anything too much, and there's a lot of flash in there, and I really like it. The uh, only thing I wish is that um, Coathead would offer it in like fluorescent orange or fluorescent chartreuse. I think that the uh, fluorescent colors look really good underneath um, a fly, as gills looking to uh, simulate gills or uh, whatever else you want to do with it. But anyway, there it is, and that's how it looks. You see it kind of stringy, and it definitely looks good. Uh, anyway, it's a really good material, and I recommend it. I really like this material. And thanks, thank you for watching. And